Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Nyarafni bin Alias and I'm from class 502. Hi, my name is Wanadi Sofan Man Adli and I'm from class 512. Hi, I'm Muhammad Adam Chris bin Azhar from 5.5. And we are from the ABN Test Heroes who would like to present our innovation which named as Salvador de Mar Hovercraft which is an hovercraft that could absorb oil. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the oil spill incident or activity is not a current issue. It already happened for a period of time ago. And based on the research that we've done, it is found that the number of spill has decreased. But at the same time, the number of oil leaked to the ocean has increased. Therefore, a smart initiative or a suitable product has to be taken in order to settle and overcome this issue from keep going on. So there's many methods that we can use this nowadays. For the first method, we're using using oil booms. Oil booms is a very simple and popular method of controlling oil spill. The equipment called containment booms acts like a fence to prevent the oil from further spreading or floating away. So for the second one, we using skimmers. Our machine is specially, specially designed to start up the oil from the water surface like a vacuum cleaner. They are used physically separate the oil from the water so that it can be collected and processed for use. So for the third one, we have also, we also have using sorbent. The sorbents are material that soak up liquids by either absorption. Both this property make the process of clean up much easier. After enough discussion and research that our team has done, uh, we decided to choose the coconut fiber as our natural material to become our agent for oil absorber in our prototype hovercraft. The two tests that our team plan to do is the first one is the experiment which this experiment purposely to determine the oil in absorbent capacity index for the coconut fiber. Our hypothesis is that the coconut fiber has high in terms of oil absorbent capacity index which means that it has ability to absorb oil efficiently as time goes. And the second test that our team plan to do is doing a demonstration or a representation test where we prepared a mini ocean with an oil spill on it which indicates a smaller scale of the ones that in the real life and we use our coconut fibers to check and determine whether can the coconut fiber accept So moving on to the hovercraft, we have to understand how does a hovercraft work. So basically the mechanism is very simple. There is an engine that powers both large central fan pointing downward and or one or more other fans pointing backwards, forward or to the other side. Other than that, there is also a rubber skirt that traps a cushion of air uh, under the car. So here is the outcome of the oil absorbent capacity test on the coconut fiber. Which means that the oil absorbent capacity index increases as time goes. From table, the index exceeds 1 after 10 seconds which indicates the coconut fiber is a good oil absorber. Which means that the higher index means capability to trap more oil than the fiber's weight itself. This it means that the hypothesis of, this, of the experiment is accepted. So we have some observation. So this is before and this is after. So for the so for the observ uh, observation, uh, which means that the oil layer above the brine solution become thinner after left with coconut fiber on the surface of oil after several minutes. This indicates our mini ocean that polluted by oil spill could be recovered using coconut fiber. So that's it. We can now proceed to building our hovercraft. For our hovercraft body, we choose polystyrene foam board because it has a low thermal conductivity, it has also water and impact resistance and it is extremely lightweight to enable it to float on the sea water. As a replacement for the stick, we use plastic that can trap the cushion of air just like needed for a hovercraft to operate. So what powered our hovercraft? Our hovercraft is powered by an Arduino Uno R3 PHC 
06 Bluetooth module, a 9G micro servo, two brushless motor and two electronic speed controller. As you can see here, this is the sketch of our hovercraft. So, it contains the key components for our Arduino powered hovercraft. Lastly, the final process of producing the Salvador de Mar hovercraft is to bind both hovercraft and the customized coconut fiber. Our team has come up with a special design where we create a special palais or holder as you can see in the diagram where the fiber is placed at. To add more, the fiber is disposable and can be replaced when it's no longer usable or anytime when needed. Then the holder will be placed in a special tight grip made of light and soft steel that is binded with the hovercraft. Next, a special layer is added between the hovercraft and the fiber pellet or fiber holder. This special layer helps support the movement of both hovercraft and the fiber holder so that it could have move together at the same time. In addition, the special layer is also made from light and soft but strong material to ease the flight path of hovercraft. Thus, the hovercraft's flight path is unaffected since it is not heavy at all. So there is so the advantage of using the coconut fiber uh, as the oil, oil sorbent. So for the, so for the advantage, the oil can be recovered and this prevents wastage and further pollution. So uh, for the second one, they are the most effective in small space or to manage the leftover trees of a larger space. So for the third one, advantage is uh, the coconut fiber is eco-friendly. So for the last advantage is the coconut fiber they don't cost too much for us to spend money on it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is our end of our presentation. Thank you all for your watching our presentation. So lastly, I want to thank to all our teachers that gave us support. Uh, and motivation, especially our our teacher, that is teacher Siti or Rashikin, Binti Hussein, for helping us a lot in this project. Despite despite having a lot of accountability to be handled, we also want to thank Kak Dian from University Technology Petronas and Abang Fahan for guiding us in the test of experiment to determine the ability of coconut fiber. So thank you, Kak Dian and Abang Fahan. Next, we would also like to express our gratitude to our parents for their unconditional support and assistance in terms of financial, knowledge and moral support to help us carry on with our project. We would also love to appreciate the efforts of our friends and schoolmates for sharing their useful knowledge and time to guide us with our project as well. Lastly, we would like to thank every single person who directly or indirectly helped the success of our project. We totally couldn't do it without your help.